concept of counter steering and having to intuitively, but in the same in terms of body motion, because everybody learns this by moving fast enough, and you know you go straight and run and turn right real quick, but you don't lean, you're gonna flip over backwards to the left. Everybody learns that, and so then in the uh, the the system of you know with the motorcycles or bikes. Now, of course, if if it's a race car or a near accident it's not just being uncomfortable it's you could save your life or avoid uh, running into another object having control over your path and the predictability of motion in high speeds or excuse me uh, a heavy vehicle in 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 motion at high speeds the dynamics of of weight physics in that point and so then uh the concept is with his turn he broke the turn and began going straight which equates to going clear across the lane into the truck and instead of counter steering because he now was no longer leaning down and he simply turned the handlebars to the right while watching the truck and keeping his shoulders straight ahead and straight upright he didn't counter steer by turning first the wheel uh, the, the the handlebars and the front wheel to the left so it slips out and leans him to the right and forces the wheel to turn back over and go to the right and he would have just kept his turn also if he simply didn't get scared and stopped braking, he could have continued on the turn just fine. It was his fear that broke the continuity. So then, the idea that was brought up, which is the encapsulation of all that is in relation to this, in terms of people, how I say the geometric spiral, the mandala pattern will accelerate, and the centrifugal or centripetal force that pulls people outward, I think that's the right term, will fling off all the people who aren't balanced until all that's left are those who are not basically in a uh, disproportionate geometric pattern is if you have an oval and you spin it fast enough and versus a kind of balanced pattern a wheel versus misshapen one which would be like a polygon like a rhomb rhombozoidal polygon one with like one side larger than the other not like a pal parallelogram well, you have to have one side misshapen, which is not symmetrical, in order to get that pattern, which would, if you spin it fast enough, it was a ceramic plate that's going to shatter eventually. CDs, perfectly straight, symmetrical, they're so, there's such a finite imbalance to them, that if you spin them at 27,000 RPMs, they shatter like glass. They can't handle the weight. Even if, so the idea is we're going to light speed, so that little bit of ego has to be processed out or detached, and it'll fling off. Um, not detached, but, and so then... The idea that was brought up is that so you guide your motion uh, carefully because too far inward is like a star, is something orbiting a so-called star, and it will eventually fling you back out the other side. It's too much power. Too far outward, you're going to end up swinging around too wide and shooting out the other side. It's too powerful. The only thing is perfect balance, and in this sense. The metaphor is that by dipping into chaos, passing through chaos, traveling through the darkness, the valley, we have to to get to the meadow, if you will. And um, in this, you know, experience it, travel there, dip into chaos, but don't live there. Don't let it rule your life. Don't become a citizen of chaos town or chaos realm. Chaosia, and there. This could go into so many Greek derivative Roman words of gods and so on and so forth. But um, the idea is that uh, you know, with the enamorment, the war aspect, the fear aspect, so on. It's all. It's all either chaos, putting on a different mask, and controlling us through fear or ignorance or any of these aspects. You know, pride and so on, or a, a restorative balance being brought through self knowledge, through self awareness. And uh, the idea is that the biker feared that truck. And this is where the concept of target fixation comes into play. He couldn't take his mind off the truck. But the only action he could come up with was get away. That equates to smashing his face into the truck so that the paramedics that were riding the fire truck had to take him to the hospital afterwards. And so uh, his, 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 that's why it's instinctual in the sense of uh, it's intuitive. But it's, that's what I meant. It's body intuitive, but it's not instinctual because instinct at that point to get away does not equate to getting away. There's too much of a complicated system at play, and as complicated as it can get, what can it be? It just means do the opposite for a second and then do the other thing. Um, or in the sense, like I was saying before, that everything is everything, and some of 
everything else is mixed in with everything else and in that sense 75 percent of that was the right hand turn while 25 percent of that was the left hand turn because he didn't have that 25 percent of left hand turn every single motion he did to the right pushed him to the left he didn't understand the dynamics and in that sense his fear brought about the opposite of what he desired and so instead of dipping into chaos he fled from it and it brought him right into the jowls if he had dipped and confronted it embraced it learned from it, made use of it to power himself through that, it would have been fine. That would have been the, the right hand, the non... Well, here's the real weird part. N never, he would... Well, not quite, because it would have been uneventful. The time he turned right and there was a truck on the other side of the road, he wouldn't have said, in another life, if I was stupid or if I was inexperienced or if fear controlled me, that might have been it right there. You could, if you think about it, but that also means either A, he just learned earlier on, oh, this is how you do that. And you can ask him, what if you didn't counter steer at that point? He'd go, I would have been ran over by a truck. What do you mean? It would have been plain as day. Or there was a time where he almost did get hit by a truck or he did before. And that was where he learned and it was driven into his mind to, to make sense. What? It's a pivot point. Oh, well, yeah, it's a, it's an energetic, philosophical, psychological pivot point where you have to make a choice and go one way or the other. And that's why I said before, it's kind of like, the truth is condemning for those who aren't ready to hear it, but it is an absolute pivot point that has to be experienced because it can't be done any other way. But uh, I think that was the encapsulation of what you were saying. You said it better though, that's so what I wanted you to you say it, but you're shy and you, now you have amnesia. <laughs> but that's the idea that uh, you have to make use of chaos or it will make use of you. And it's not going to make use of anything good. And the idea is, so that truck ate him, right? And it was like, uh, it was full because he lost in the beast. No, nothing happens. It's just the default operation. And we turn to particles bumping into each other. And nothing beneficial in that sense happens mentally. That's beneficial. I'm pretty sure his body didn't go, thanks for hitting me with that truck <laughs> guide force or whatever. That was great. There was nothing beneficial there, but he learned. And so it's as if we're on a hyperspatial trajectory or pathway of life and time is taking us in a certain trend or direction. And if <clears throat> because we're in a medium where the motion in one direction is incorporating or incorporated into the motion in the other direction, maybe philosophically, in order to get something done, we have to also incorporate into our process, our motion whatever we're doing, our maneuver, the incorporation of the opposite of that interaction as well. Doing that in a successful way or a way that successfully gets us to where we want to go in this metaphor incorporates the, the opposite. And the metaphor is for duality in the sense that that's the understanding of duality and how the opposite of what you do influences what you're uh, intending to do and in that same sense, the inverse, what you do always carries a reaction. It always carries a reflecting response. And that unless we're aware of how what we do kind of cross enables this in a dual, dual sense, a dual, duality consciousness sense, we're not aware of the actual motion we're participating in or taking. And from that point, the outcome is going to be unpredictable to the conscious mind always. So that conscious mind is only having one aspect of the reflection, one side of it, but it's in a system where it is inherently dualized and there's the other end. That other end of what we're doing, that reflection, that shadow mind, excuse me, that reflection of conscious mind that knows or the, the other end of the response, okay, that's the shadow mind that's happening half and half, like a two-way mirror or a mirror split in half where the individuals uh there's kind of two mirrors like a triangle and you get two reflections at either side from the middle projection of the person's image the other side that we don't see is the shadow mind which incorporates the counterintuitive opposing intentions that are a potential that could occur and most likely will occur if we never in fact ever thought that could be possible and that could happen and in that sense, if fear is what controls and guides a person's imagination, or, or at least their focus, their attention, or their technique for maneuverability, they're always going to end up with half the equation in a time of stress, or life and death, or high power, two objects moving at each other at high speed, you know, it's all a metaphor, or to uh, impossible odds, or 
uh, having to, you know, you can't uh, bow to two gods and so on, or have two masters, and uh, the idea is that it might split a person apart, or in that case, in the sense of life and death, they might walk into their demise not realizing how their actions are influencing the situation.